A wonderful sight. The moon cresting the junction between the cliff path and the stone circle. It cast a shadow of the ridge across the beach, all the world as if you had signed your name in untidy handwriting. When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff path died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Hmm. Stonehenge. I want to go there. There's a path in there. In, in there. Okay. They were God-fearing people, those shepherds. There was no love in the relationship. Donnelly tells me that they had one Bible that was passed around in strict rotation. It was stolen by a visiting monk in 1776, two years before the island was abandoned altogether. In the interim, I wonder, did they assign chapter and verse to the stones and grasses, marking the geography with a superimposed significance that they could actually walk the Bible and inhabit mm. its contradiction? Nice. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic thrown high and lucid by his own dented vomit. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. This hermit, this seer, this distant historian of bones and old bread, where did he vanish to? Why, asked the farmers, why, asked Jacobson, why bother with your visions at all if you're just to throw your arms up at the cliff and let it close in behind you and seal you into the belly of the island, a museum shut to all but the most devoted? So, Carlitos penises back there, and maybe he's rectum. Maybe he's rectum. Okay, I just oh, I walked around in a cave. I, I thought I was going another way, but I walked around. But there's a oh, there's a path here. Okay, there's a path. Cool. Maybe this, this will go to the stone edge. Okay. I stood in the center of the sun, and the solar radiation cooked my heart from the inside. My teeth will curl, and my fingernails fall off into my pockets like loose change. 
If I could stomach, I'd eat, but all I seem capable of is salt water. With the livestock still here, I could turn feral and gorge. I'm as emaciated as a body on a slab, opened up for a premature source of death. I've rode to this island in a heart without a bottom, all the bacteria of my gut rising up to sing to me. Let's go. Cool. 